There's only a few people that I know who really live with no doubt. They have their answer and they're sticking with it and that's, and that's Jeremy. Once he's committed in his mind, it's already done. If you really think about it, living with no doubt or living 100% confident in your decisions is crazy. But it's probably pretty awesome. You know, throughout many different eras of snowboarding, Jeremy has been a constant not only a constant, but he's been kind of the one on the front lines progressing the bigger aspects of street snowboarding. We were all skateboarders and it was too cold to skate. So how can we do the same tricks on snow? And then we discovered snowboards and that was like, oh, and then the light bulb went off. For so long, like Jeremy was consistently inventing and creating the next thing. And then snowboarding is just kind of following and trying to catch up. You learn a kickflip and then what can you take the kickflip to? It's just the same thing, you know, you just try to evolve your idea. Tricks always lead to other tricks, I guess. Walls really opened up a lot. You know, I started doing just normal wall rides and I, of course, just took that from skating. You know, that unlocked a lot for me because I just started looking at the city, not just for rail, but for walls. And then all of a sudden there was gaps to walls and then I fell into the redirect thing and it just opened up so many doors. I've always been driven by feeling good in the air. You either like my style or you don't, but it is my style and it feels a certain way to me and so I, basically just chase that feeling all the time. And that changes, you know, from year to year. What makes a legend is not doing what everyone else is doing, you know, being different, not being scared to stick out and, you know, do things maybe a little bit differently, which he's done, you know? The stuff I've done, I just try to make sure I don't repeat it. It's not a, wow, look at what I've done. It's just a, okay. Don't do the exact same thing that you've already done. That's the most honest and respectable career that you can have. You're the one in the front line creating trends. And that's what Jeremy has done for the last 15 years. I've never done like a redirect style wall ride and Jeremy's the one who basically came up with it. Everything that we're doing now is, you know, an offshoot of what he kind of invented. It's a big first redirect, <laughs> but it's right up Pat's alley, dude. Like, I'm, I guess that's it is I'm not tripping because to me it's just like, why would he even try one that wasn't this big? He's already gone through the motions of learning how to do it, so he, he knew exactly what to say. Yeah, Pat. There it is. Oh. That was it, dude. So if you come off a little straighter, then you'll just be able to tack it and then get to your toes where you need to be to ride out, you know what I mean? It was sick to just like one right away and Jeremy was all hyped, we were all hyped. And then he just threw on his boots and got right into it and, and backed me up right away. Oh, he's 
dude. I'm 40. Almost. Right. <laughs> I definitely think that Jeremy's riding's only getting better and that he could probably snowboard for another 10 years if he wanted to, you know? The other night at the spot, he turned 39, and none of us had a clue that it was his birthday. His family showed up to the spot and brought out a cake. Happy birthday, old man. Thanks, young buck. <laughs> you need this at every, at every spot. My family's never really been able to see me do it in the street, and they showed up. They just watched us set it up. And then it's like 12.30, they got to get out, because they can't hang anymore, you know? Can I get a kiss? No. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Rule. And then in the morning, they're just like, you were there till 5? Filming for this real snow thing, he's like had some of the biggest battles. I've seen Jeremy get shut down on a spot and not get his trick maybe a handful of times since 2002 when I started filming with him. He never gets shut down. <laughs> when I get into a battle, you start talking to yourself, you know? And one thing I was telling myself, I was just like, there's no way I can't walk away with this shot tonight because my family was here. And if they look at the real snow and they're like, that shot's not in there from that night that we were there. Like, how am I gonna live with that? And that was my motivation at the end. It was just like, I'm going until I can't go anymore because I have to show them that, you know, what they came out to support were. Spot that we're going to set up. <laughs> 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 